Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard. Welcome to this week's Stock Market Outlook video, sponsored by MarketSmith. As always, we'll talk about the market indexes and how they performed over the course of the week. We'll move on to leading stocks, my previous watch list, and then we'll move on to sentiment from a few different sources, the put call ratio, name exposure index, and then finally we'll wrap things up with the IVD big picture article, and finally the GMI signal from MarketSmith.com. If you do enjoy my analysis, please go ahead and take the time right now to leave me a like down below on the video. It really helps me out in my channel and just takes a few seconds out of your day. And I thank you so much if you did that. Uh, so, Darren, let's start with the NASDAQ Composite, which ended the week into all-time highs, which is very, very bullish. Um, obviously, a little bit short-term extended, but we're trending nicely back above the 21 EMA and the 50 SMA here, the purple and red lines here, and we're clearly staying above the 15,000 level. So I wouldn't mind some type of digestion next week maybe even a stress test and then a confirmation from both the indexes and the leading stocks that the market is healthy by some type of recovery. But um, I definitely would like to see some consolidation. I think that would be healthy. A lot of charts would uh, form handles, pullbacks into the moving averages, and lead to a lot of setups if that would occur. And I think a pullback to this previous all-time high and consolidation right at this point uh, would be um, pretty much ideal in this case. Uh, looking at the S&P 500, this also ended the week into all-time highs. Let's take a look at this chart. Uh, once again, a pullback above the previous all-time high would be awesome. And you can see on this Tuesday, uh, when we saw a lot of distribution across the board, especially late in the day, and I actually got some stops hit on some um, positions that I had profits in, um, but I ended up buying some of that stuff back later in the week just because of the strength of the overall market. And this Tuesday, um, or actually this, this Wednesday here, the 27th, uh, turned out to just be kind of um, a, a needless warning shot, um, and the market leaders truly responded on Thursday and Friday. Uh, moving on to the FFTY, the Innovator IV50 ETF, uh, this kind of gives you a sense of how growth stocks were performing. You can see the distribution on the Tuesday and Wednesday, and then the nice recovery expectation breaker taking out the Wednesday high on Thursday, and nice fall through through 50 on this index, and I would like to see us break through this pivot next week or maybe a few inside days consolidation, and then a breakout through that pivot and a start to trend towards the top of the stage two base at this moment. And as for the IWO, you can see we're also forming out a pivot right below this level here. And we'd like to see us start to break through 311 and start to trend toward these all-time highs. And if this starts to move, I think that would really support the general market. Uh, looking at small caps in general, the IWO is more just growth stocks. Uh, you can see we're also forming a pivot right here below all-time highs. A nice bounce back on Thursday and then consolidation day to end up the day on Friday, but we're back above all the moving averages. Um, finally, I like to look at some leading names. That's always good to uh, kind of get a sense of the risk appetite of institutions. And what better way to do that than look at earnings gap up? So LC is one that stands out to me. A super strong move here up. Let's take a look up 33% on the 28th, this Thursday, and that beautiful fall through, not even giving back um, anything really on this day in the wick and out, um, and basically adding almost 10% on this day. So definitely a leader to watch, um, and it kind of all started from this previous earnings gap up out of the stage one base, and now we've got number two, and usually uh, when stocks gap up, they're likely to do it again, uh, but definitely you want to position yourself against the 50-day here, something like this, and then uh, this was a kind of wicked shakeout before earnings, so probably you're actually pushed out here of the stock on the 27th, given the poor reaction, but um, standout earnings, great earnings surprise, plus 188%, and definitely want to watch as it forms out a flag and pulls back into the moving averages, lets the 21 EMA catch up to price, even the 10-day, and kind of try to buy versus those areas, but uh, definitely a leader in this market. FinTech has been strong. Uh, this, along with UPST, has been leading the past few months. And if you aren't already looking at the stock, definitely one to have on your radar. Um, also, it's definitely important to mention Tesla. Uh, the strength this week has been uh, amazing, really. You have a breakout here um, on the 25th. Continue to move up a little bit of a downside reversal shakeout here on the 26th, and then finishing the week at all-time highs at 1,114 flat. So super strong action here. And looking at the weekly, you can see the power and the, the strength from this long-term base and the weekly close right at all-time highs after being up like 11 weeks in a row. Super strong. Um, and we'll have to see whether it kind of forms out a flag and gives us an entry, maybe an inside weekend up um, or some type of consolidation like this, managing risk right at these swing lows. But great estimates as well. Um, earnings were super strong. You had a surprise at 
and so far it's acting like a leader. Um, also worth taking a look at NVIDIA. This is also acting extremely strong, breaking out of the space on the 26th, uh, two inside days, and then a finish of the week, basically uh, right at all time highs, looks super strong above 250. Also, it's worth taking a look at some beaten down social media companies. Uh, Pinterest and um, Snap are uh, showing a lot of weakness. But if you go to Facebook, uh, this kind of had a little bit of a breakdown below the 200 day moving average, but it had an inside day and then a bullish outside day. And then looks like it retook the 200 day moving average on this Friday. So the trend still remains to be seen. We're stuck below a declining 21 and 50 SMA. So maybe it kind of chops around here, forms. Um, a low cheat and then kind of wedge pops out here and makes its way towards this pivot but it just needs a little bit of time to form out this base um, and we'll have to see how it acts versus the 21 and the 50 SMA as well as the anchored VWAP from the top of this base but this definitely has a little bit of it the end and can slim at this moment uh, with the metaverse news all of that um, and they're really kind of doubling down in that direction so we'll have to see um, how that affects things and how the perception from institutions changes with the stock but so far uh, it's very solid earning sales margins, especially considering the huge market cap here. Um, estimate revisions are down, so that's something to watch over the course of the next few days, few weeks. If these start to creep up, that would be a good sign that kind of the um, expectation from analysts is increasing for this company, and we'll have to see what happens with Facebook. And checking up on AFRM, you can see nice strong action, a um, little bit of a move up on lower volume. I would like to see a pullback towards 150, let that moving average, the 20 EMA, catch up the price and then a solid breakout here. Uh, but so far, holding up well, and if we go to a weekly, um, it's in a beautiful pattern here on the weekly and a strong end and close the week um, at 162.5. Also taking a look at UPST, this has been a leader, but did pull back this week and had a little bit of a downside reversal, um, kind of failing the TTL break here on Friday. So maybe this needs a little bit more time and maybe a visit to 300 or the 50 day is in order before um, it finds support and starts another move up. And lastly, I wanted to highlight LCID, Lucid Group here, which had a strong breakout on volume. Um, and looking at the weekly, this looks really strong. Um, and you can see the highest volume ever here on uh, this past week with a good closing range as well. So uh, watch for an entry on this one, maybe on a pullback into the 10 day moving average, some type of flag inside week and up. Uh, managing risk right at these swing lows, and we'll have to see how it acts versus the 40 level. But those are a few names I'm watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below um, on, on these stocks and any other notable names uh, that I'll go through in this video. And moving on now to the leaders list, LCID was just added based on the super high volume, the highest volume in the past 250 days. Um, but so far, uh, no real setup, a little bit short-term extended, but as I said, watch for this 10-day to catch up the price and for it to kind of flag out after earnings. Um, LC as well, we mentioned a strong gap up on earnings, looks strong, trending above the moving averages. Um, EMPH, another one with an earnings gap up. I actually should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, this looks super strong. Um, and uh, the solar group in general has been acting well. And this to me is the leader within that group. Great earnings, sales margins, the whole nine yards. Uh, so now it's trending above all the moving averages as it makes its way right towards all time highs. Actually, it closed, it looks like, right all time highs. So super strong. Um, only blue skies ahead for this name. So once again, wait for your entry if you didn't buy it on the um, earnings gap up day or on the fish hook setup uh, on the 28th. Uh, Tesla also super strong emerging from a longer term base. And uh, look at the volume on the breakout. And even though this was a down day, also a lot of volume as well coming into this name and finishing the week right at all time highs. Um, Hut, a Bitcoin and, and crypto miner, a good end to the week pretty much at the high of the week here. Um, definitely a little bit more of a speculative play here, but looks pretty good. And it finished the week right at a uh, price and relative strength all time high. So nothing you can basically complain about there. Uh, looks super strong. Um, AEHR also, um, after a little bit of a pullback on Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, finished strong and uh, uh, finished pretty close to all time highs here. Did pull back a little bit um, later in the day. NVIDIA also super strong. You can see a bull flag here, double inside days and breaking out in terms of price and RS, uh, look super strong. And this with Tesla are kind of the institutional quality uh, favorites, extremely liquid as well. Um, in mode also breaking out today. So a lot of stocks breaking out to the upside. That's a good sign for the overall market. Um, and look at the volume here is a little bit um, above average, but not super strong. So we'll have to see how this acts. This has come quite a long way, just trending above the moving averages here, above a rising 10 day, 21 EMA and 50 SMA. 
Uh, looking at throws, this also finished the week at all-time highs in terms of price and relative strength. I um, actually trimmed um, basically a half of my position here on this day, but I'm aiming to hold the rest for the longer-term trend. Uh, moving on, we've got App. Just riding that 10-day to higher prices looks pretty strong. Um, inside day to end out the week on declining volume, so I want to see it reconfirm next week with a breakout to the upside. Moving on, we've got Team, another recent earnings gap up. Um, not a great close here, but it did close above the open. We'll have to see how this acts next week. Um, Net also finishing the week very strongly into all-time highs. Looks great um, and super strong, just pulling back to the 10-day. So definitely extended from a proper base, but still very strong nevertheless. Um, AMBA also just riding above that 10-day here um, inside day to end out the week. And we'll have to see how this acts um, in the coming dates. Uh, Silvergate, you can see, pulled back. Um, a little bit to end out the week and had a pretty vicious day here on Wednesday, uh, but held an inside day and then tried to go inside day and up, but was pushed back here. So I want to see this anger view out from the highs transition to support. Uh, you broke out today um, on a inside day and up here, and I want to see this kind of continue to fall through and move towards these all-time highs. Uh, coin uh, went pretty much sideways here. Nice inside day to end out the week and looks really, really strong on the weekly finishing the week above this uh, potential pivot, and that high is at 306.98. Uh, Netflix also very, very strong. You can look at the weekly chart here, but also the daily is very strong, finishing the week into all-time highs. Um, SBT moving up here, could have bought it here on the inside day and up, and I want to see it fall through and challenge this pivot and then towards all-time highs. Uh, Sentinel, 2-2 two -two reversal today off the 10-day moving average. Uh, Zscaler holding above that 10-day. FRM um, above the 10-day as well. Uh, D-Dog, uh, nice move off the 21 EMA. Uh, DOCN, uh, just kind of going sideways, having trouble with the 100 level, but I like what it's doing, um, and I wouldn't mind some type of shakeout to the 21 EMA before trying to push through that 100 Livermore level. Mara, another miner here within a longer term base, forming out a handle. Definitely one to watch going into next week. Next up, we've got apps going sideways, forming a handle as well. You've got pivots at this level, 90.49, as well as uh, the Thursday high. Uh, skin, uh, pretty volatile here, some failed breakouts, um, and I, I did get stopped out, um, I think, on this day as well as this day, trying this, uh, but very small losses, and it found support at the 50-day, so I want to watch into next week, and when this goes, uh, this can really trend very quickly in a short amount of time. Um, ASAN, also finding support near the 10-day, uh, negative action on this Tuesday on high volume, but it formed an inside day, and then finished the week pretty strong, although on lower volume. Um, AMD, not a great reaction since it's earnings, but it is holding the 10-day moving average, um, and we'll just have to see whether it finds support near this level or if it needs a little bit more time and uh, for it to pull back into the base a little bit uh, below this pivot. Next, we've got CrowdStrike, and it did hold above the 21 EMA, but you do have a failed breakout and two reversal to the downside on Wednesday, so I'll have to see where this goes. It is having a little bit of trouble with the 10-day moving average at this point. Um, SE pulling back to 21 EMA as well, just going sideways this week for the most part. Task hasn't really been able to recover since the offering announcement here, and it's back below all the moving averages. And moving on to Bill, you can see not a great day on this Tuesday, but uh, not huge volume, although it was above average, and now it's going sideways on lighter volume. Next, looking at Bill, you can see not a great day on Tuesday, although on uh, decently low volume, although it was above average, and then going kind of quiet and tight on below average volume to end out the week. Uh, Domo pulled back this week for the most part, although not on huge volume. And a really nice bar here on this Friday, so potentially a 2 to reversal through this high to start out next week as it forms out a pretty orderly base here um, below this level around 100. Um, MTDR, not a great look. Failed breakout and now pulling back to 21 EMA. A good close here on this Friday, but we'll have to see whether these drops on volume mean something and it needs a new base, maybe a pullback to this prior pivot around 38. Uh, UPST pulling back here below the 21 EMA. It's having trouble with that level, so it maybe needs a little bit of time uh, laying that 50-day moving average catch up to price. Dash, you can see gap down here, not a great look, and some fall through to the downside, high volume. So you really want to see this recover and retake those key moving averages, but so far it's having trouble uh, breaking towards all-time highs through 228. Um, and finally, we've got Upwork also failing pretty hard here. Uh, no real setup and just kind of bad closes all around to end out the week on high volume. Uh, so overall, that's a run-through of the leaders. A lot of strong names and kind of new groups emerging here. Uh, Lucid with the EV theme. Um, LC, um, very strong as well. Fintech has been good. Um, and also Solar really asserting itself as a leading group. 
Uh, so let me know your thoughts down below, and now let's move on to my watch list and how it performed this past week. So sorting by that weekly change, EMPH was a standout with the earnings breakout. We already talked about that chart. HUD as well, we discussed. Um, FSLR also very strong with EMPH. Um, SI we discussed. Unity Software broke out, as we mentioned. Coin going sideways above the pivot on declining volume looks pretty good and set up for next week through these highs. FRM also going sideways, we already discussed. Skin we discussed. AMD as well. Uh, Monday also pulling back into the moving averages. A little bit wicky here, so I want to see a definitive breakout towards all time highs. Uh, Bill we discussed and UPSC as well. So, overall, a pretty good week for my watch list. MPH with the earnings gap up, HUD, FSLR, and definitely some opportunities down here as well. And many of them just kind of setting up for next week, uh, going sideways on a declining volume. So, uh, with that, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for my next list of ideas. Uh, moving on, let's talk about sentiment from a few different sources. Uh, we basically had a flat change here in the amount of bullishness, which is a good sign. Um, we're basically at all-time highs, and people aren't super, super bullish, so we're climbing a wall of worry. Uh, looking at the name exposure index, however, we do have a pretty high value here at 103.35. That tells me we're a little bit exuberant in the short term, uh, so keep that in mind for sure. Uh, looking at the put call ratio, we're way low here, so keep that in mind as well. And also on the bullish bearish pole, we are seeing a jump in bullishness. So overall, maybe a little bit exuberant in the short term, uh, but keep in mind that the action of the market indexes and the leading stocks in the market, and also your stocks, matter a lot more than just being short-term extended um, in terms of sentiment. And moving on now to the IBD Big Picture article. The headline is Supply Chain Slowing Economy. This stock market doesn't mind so much. I uh, discuss how we finished at all-time highs here, uh, the action today on the indexes, and also um, how there's little distribution at this moment. Apple and Amazon um, both reported disappointing results, um, but you can see that um, overall they recovered a decent amount of their losses uh, today in the market. They also discuss the reactions from big earnings reports, uh, Microsoft, CrowdStrike, TTGT, uh, CDNS, ServiceNow as well. And overall their take is a confirmed uptrend with two distribution days on the NASDAQ and one on the S&P 500. Uh, lastly, we've got the GMI signal from WorkshopMobile.com, which is still green since October 15th. And on Thursday, the GMI score was a 6 out of 6. And we've got CSV highlighted here on that day. Uh, so overall, my current outlook is also like IBD, confirmed uptrend. Um, we are, as I as I said, a little bit short-term extended, uh, but that's not going to stop the leaders from breaking out in terms of price and volume. And a lot of the leaders that I went over, um, Affirm, Coin, basically went sideways the past week and are kind of setting up um, into the next week. So uh, we'll have to see whether those fall through to the upside or the downside and be ready for any possibilities. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.